Good evening and welcome to tonight's uh, news uh, bulletin uh, live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq and His Majesty the King of the Hashmit uh, Kingdom of Jordan hold an official discussion session reviewing the march of brotherly relations between both countries. His Majesty his Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq leads the welcoming party of His Majesty the King of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan upon his arrival an official two-day visit to the Sultanate of Oman. With a cost of more than 5 million Omani rials, an agreement is signed to develop Ba'in al thawar in the Wilaya of Nakhal. And a dialogue session in Muscat reviews the potentials of the Sultanate of Oman in the green hydrogen sector. Assalamu alaikum. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan held this evening an official discussion session at Al Alam Palace. In the beginning of the session, His Majesty the Sultan welcomed His Majesty the King of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan, wishing his and his accompanying delegation a good stay in the Sultanate of Oman. From his side, his Majesty the King of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan expressed his utmost thanks to His Majesty the Sultan for the warm welcome. The session reviewed historical brotherly relations between both countries and means of enhancing and developing them in various fields that serve the interest of the peoples of both countries and achieve their joint aspirations in addition to exchange viewpoints on the updates of the situation in the region and regional and international current development besides matters of mutual concern. The discussion session was attended from Omani's side by His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs, and Special Representative of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid Shihab bin Tariq al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for Defense Affairs, his Highness Sayyid the Yazin bin Haytham bin Tariq al Said, Minister of Culture, Sport and Youth. His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of the Royal Court. His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Nomani, Minister of the Royal Office. His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal al Busaidi, Minister of Interior. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad al Busaidi, Foreign Minister, Head of the Mission of Honor. His Excellency Dr. Ahmad bin Saeed al Aufi, head of the private office, and His Excellency Ambassador Sheikh Hilal bin Marhoun al Ma'mari, Ambassador of the Sultanate of Oman, accredited to the Hashmat Kingdom of Jordan. While it was attended from the Jordanian side by His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah the Second Crown Prince of the Hashmat Kingdom of Jordan, His Excellency Dr. Bashir al Khawasne. Prime Minister of Jordan, His Excellency Ayman Al Safadi, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate, His Excellency Jafar Hassan, Director of the Office of uh, His Majesty the King, His Excellency Amjad Al Qahawi, Ambassador of the Hashmit Kingdom of Jordan to the Sultanate of Oman, and a number of senior officials. His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn al Hussein of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan and Her Majesty Queen Rania al Abdullah arrived this afternoon on a two day official visit to the Sultanate of Oman. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq led the welcoming party of His Majesty the King of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan at the foot of the ramp upon his arrival at the Royal Airport. Along with His Majesty the Sultan, His Majesty the King was also received by His Highness Sayyid Shihab bin Tariq al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for Defense Affairs, His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal al Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of the Royal Court, His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Normani, Minister of the Royal Office.
Office, His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi, Minister of Interior, His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad Al Busaidi, Foreign Minister, Head of the Mission of Honor, Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Ahmed Al Shabaniya, Minister of Education, Minister accompanying Her Majesty the Queen. His Excellency Ambassador Sheikh Hilal bin Marhoun Al Ma'mari, Ambassador of the Sultanate of Oman, accredited to the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan. His Excellency Amjad Al Qahawi, Ambassador of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan to the Sultanate of Oman, and members of the honorary mission. After that, His Majesty the Sultan and His Majesty the King went to the hall, passing between two columns of the Guard of Honor from the Royal Guard of Oman, where Her Highness's Honorable Lady Spouse of His Majesty. Majesty the Sultan welcomed their majesties, the King, the Queen, and the Crown Prince of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan. After that, after that, uh, the motorcade of His Majesty the Sultan and the King of Jordan left the Royal Airport, heading to Al Alam Palace for the official reception ceremony. Upon the arrival of the motorcade to the outer courtyard of Al Alam Palace, a group of horsemen lined up on both sides of the road leading to the palace gate to welcome His Majesty the guest. As soon as the motorcade of the two leaders arrived in the inner courtyard of the Al Alam Palace, the music of the Royal Guard of Oman was played and the trumpets uh, was blown. Then His Majesty the Sultan accompanied His Majesty the King uh, to the the podium where the Jordanian royal anthem was played, while artillery fired 21 rounds of salute to His Majesty the Guest. After that, His Majesty the Sultan shook hands with members of the official delegation accompanying His Majesty King Abdullah II, Ibn al Hussein, King of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan, welcoming them and wishing them a pleasant stay while the guest king shook hands with his recipients from the Omani side. His Majesty the King was also received by a number of their Highnesses, Chairman of the State and Shura Councils, their Excellencies, Ministers and Commanders of the Sultan's Armed Forces and the Royal Oman Police. After that, His Majesty the Sultan and His Majesty the Guest went to the Majlis for coffee. During the visit, the King of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan is, is accompanied by an official delegation that includes His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, Crown Prince of Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan, His Excellency Dr. Bishr Al Khawazne, Prime Minister of Jordan, His Excellency Ayman Al Safadi, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates, His Excellency Jaafar Hassan, Director of the Office of His Majesty the King. 
King, His Excellency Amjad Al Qahawi, Ambassador of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan to the Sultanate of Oman, and a number of senior officials. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq received a cable of thanks from His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, Amir of the State of Kuwait, in reply to His Majesty's greetings cable on the occasion of the second anniversary of his accession to the throne. Discussing aspects of cooperation between the Sultanate of Oman and Republic of India and confirming the concern of both sides to develop bilateral relations in various fields, especially economy, commerce and science, topped the discussion of His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud, the Foreign Minister, while receiving His Excellency Sharif Moralid Haran, Minister of State of External Affairs of India, who is currently visiting the Sultanate of Oman. During the meeting, they discussed a number of regional and international issues of common concern. The 15th training workshop for developing the capacities of Arab countries in the climate change negotiations held in Muscat affirmed the commitment of Arab countries to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The workshop clarified that greenhouse gases do not exceed 5% in the Arab countries, noting the importance of the industrialized countries' commitment to implementing their pledges on financing. The the workshop was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Harthi and the Secretary of the Foreign Ministry for Diplomatic Affairs. With a cost of more than 5 million Omani Riyals, an agreement was signed in the Governorate of South Al Batina to develop Ain Thawara in the Wilaya of Nakhal, which includes entertainment facilities and main services for visitors and residents. The agreement also included asphalting internal roads in the wilayas of the governorate with a length exceeding 90 kilometers. It will contribute in the development of economic and tourism aspects in the wilaya of Nakhal, as well as keeping in line with the governorate's development plans within the Oman Vision 2040. The agreement was signed by His Excellency Sheikh Saif bin Hamir al shehi Governor of South al Batina. Oman Economic Association organized a dialogue session on the future of the hydrogen economy and its place on the global map. More details coming up in this report. The future of hydrogen economy and its position in the global energy map the role of hydrogen in the energy transition journey and the future demand for hydrogen in light of the international geopolitical conditions were the key topics discussed at the discussion panel held by the Omani Economic Association at the Cultural Club. Today's event in the uh, Cultural Club is uh, one of raising the uh, public awareness and having a, uh, a public and healthy debate about uh, the ambitious plans of uh, the Sultanate to produce uh, clean hydrogen, whether it is blue hydrogen or green hydrogen, and how would that uh, support the decarbonization journey and also support the diversification of the energy export. The discussion session also touched on the potentials of the Sultanate of Oman in the hydrogen sector, the local economic opportunities associated with the hydrogen economy, the most important local initiatives for the transition to renewable energy, and the Sultanate of Oman's policy to switch to alternative energy as part of Oman's vision 2040. The discussion was a fruitful one and uh, there were a lot of interactions from the audience and uh, uh, 
we hope that we have delivered uh, a message that uh, keeps the momentum and keeps the interest in the, uh, in the clean energy, uh, whether it is for the local use in Oman and also for the export. The deliberations of the session recommended maximizing the added value of hydrogen by attracting investment in technologies and knowledge transfer related to the hydrogen value chain in conjunction with projects in the clean energy sector, in addition to building an interconnected national system to serve the energy transition in the Sultanate of Oman. Sultanate of Oman Embassy in the capital city of our Republic of Egypt, Cairo, organized a workshop entitled Welcome, Hello, Oman. The workshop aims at exchanging experiences in order to support tourism sector in both countries in addition to introducing the main touristic destinations in the Sultanate of Oman. The workshop also aims to enhance promotion of touristic destinations and thus attract more tourists to visit the Sultanate. It was attended by His Excellency Abdullah bin Nasr al-Rahbi, Sultanate of Oman's ambassador, accredited to the Arab Republic of Egypt. His Excellency Abdullah bin Nasr al-Rahbi, Sultanate of Oman ambassador, accredited to the Arab Republic of Egypt, stated that the workshop is meant for promoting exports as well touristic potentials and sites of the Sultanate of Oman. He as well added that the event witnessed a huge turnout of participants which reflect the interest of Egyptian tourists to visit the touristic places in the Sultanate. A traffic safety seminar for school uh, buses was held today in the Wilayah of Izki in the Governorate of Adakhliya, highlighting the importance of safe travel to and from schools for students. More details coming up in this report. Reinforcing traffic rules and regulations among members of society. The commitment of school bus drivers to maintain a distance between vehicles in addition to ensuring the safety and security of students on the bus were the key highlights of the seminar on school bus traffic safety held in the Wilaya of Izki. The symposium aims to highlight the most important points and the regulations for the buses and uh, also it has discussed a lot of regulation basically and we have discussed the, the educational parts and the regulations and the law. Uh, part of this uh, bus regulations. The working papers presented at the symposium discussed the administrative protocols of school buses, traffic safety procedures for school buses, and the legal system concerning school bus accidents. The role of Royal Oman Police is uh, monitor and follow up on the school buses and the behavior of the bus uh, drivers to ensure that they are bound by the traffic uh, safety and the safety of the children in the bus and uh, to communicate with the school, driver, uh, school bus drivers and uh, with the school's management to ensure the safety of the children. This is an old issue and uh, it's time I think to be taken seriously. Uh, actually this is uh, all people uh, responsibility, the society, schools, uh, teachers and parents as well. I think uh, there should be some programs to change the student's culture and uh, behavior, uh, to behave uh, good and uh, on the right side when they come to, to, to their buses. The symposium was concluded with a number of recommendations, the most prominent of which were replacing old buses with new ones featuring the latest safety and security technologies as well as providing bus stops in residential areas. Fostering safe and convenient school bus journeys is an important step towards bringing peace of mind to the whole community. Salah Bukhalfan al-Rahbi, Wilaya of Izki, Ad-Dakhiliya, Governorate. And now to the Governorate of the South Sharqiya. A celebration was held in the Governorate of the South Sharqiya to mark the International Day for Older Persons 2022. More coming up in this report. Resilience of older persons in a changing world is the overall umbrella theme for the United Nations International Day of Older Persons 2022. 
Oman Women's Association in the Wilaya of Sur in cooperation with Omani Women's Association in the Wilaya of Behla celebrated this day by organizing an event for older persons. The two-day program included various cultural, social, entertainment activities that provided an open space for all participants to exchange experiences and to enhance their mental health. The dominating vibes in the social gathering were dignity and satisfaction, which were obvious on all participants. In addition, this gathering enhances self-appreciation and boosts intergenerational rubbers that are built on strong religious and cultural values. Sultan bin Sif Sarai from South Ashraqiya Governorate, Wilaya of Sur. You're watching the South Dallas of Oman television and before we end tonight's uh, bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq and His Majesty the King of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan hold an official discussion session reviewing the march of brotherly relations between both countries. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq leads the welcoming party of His Majesty the King of the Hashmet Kingdom of Jordan upon his arrival, an official two-day visit to the Sultanate of Oman. With a cost of more than 5 million Omani rials, an agreement is signed to develop Ain Thawara in the Wilaya of Nakhal. And a dialogue session in Muscat reviews the potentials of the Sultanate of Oman in the green hydrogen sector. And with that, uh, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman television. From me and the entire news team, we thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night.